I am uh, Woody Rail, president of the South San Francisco Youth Baseball Association. Back when I played, there was no philosophy. It was uh, you threw until you were done. We didn't count pitches. When did you start throwing curveballs? At 12. At 12 years old, what kind of injuries have you seen? A lot of injuries, especially uh, torn like labrums and uh, Tommy John. A couple of kids on my team actually recently. Young kids, right? Young kids, so 19, 20 year olds. You know, kids today are a lot softer than the kids of the old days. U.S. Baseball and Major League Baseball have put together a comprehensive guideline to help reduce arm injuries in young players. What do you think of these uh, new rules? Oh, I think they're absolutely necessary. No question. Why is that? Kids are hurting themselves. You've got a base pitch count for travel ball, little league, high school. What do you think about that? Little League and all that, yes, because you don't want to blow a kid's arm out. But when they get to a higher level, that's their decision if they would want to stay in or if their coach keeps them in there in the game long enough. Kids that are 11 to 12 years old, what's the pitch count there? There is no pitch count at, okay. uh, at, that, at the uh, 11 and 12-year-old. Uh, it's uh, pretty much left up to the coach at this point. So, Ian, what do you think it's going to do for youth health or arm health of uh, our young baseball players? It'll be great. Um, it, it's going to really make people aware of, you know, I have to get my job done in 85 pitches, and if I don't, then someone else on my team is going to do it. I think, I don't know if 105 or 110 or 95 is the right number. What I do believe is, is beneficial is putting in the minds of the coaches, the parents, there should be a limit. Are you, as the president, going to try and institute some type of pitch count or make it league-wide? Uh, yes, we've already started that process uh, through a uh, number of uh, innings pitched okay. per game. You just don't go eyeball to eyeball with the kid and say, how do you feel? And he says, of course, as a competitor, I want to pitch. I don't want to come out of the game. The recent increase in popularity of travel baseball can be linked directly to the increase in youth arm injuries. Simply put, it's because they are uh, playing year-round ball. And uh, uh, usually uh, on most of those club teams, it's limited to the same 12 kids or 13, you know, uh, and the same kids are doing all of the pitching. Records from the American Sports Medicine Institute show that the number of Tommy John surgeries performed on youth pitchers at their facility have more than doubled since 2000. There's a lot of, a, a lot of influence on them to perform at a high level before their bodies are really capable of doing it. So they're throwing more curveballs and off-speed pitches that put more stress on the arm, no question. They're not, they're not getting the necessary break that they should, the arm should have. I mean, year-round, that's not, that's not good for, the, for their arms. That you, need a, you need a good month or two off. A good break. Do you think that it may catch up with you? No. No? What do you do to prevent injuries? Stay healthy, uh, work out as often as I can. Any arm exercises? Yeah, a lot. Uh, a lot of um, band action. Mm -hmm. So keep like all the muscles inside, not just the outside part, but everything inside the tendons and everything is strong. According to Major League Baseball, amateur pitchers who threw more curveballs were 1.6 times more likely to experience arm pain while pitching. It's a debilitating thing. It's, uh, you know, the old saying, you've only got so many throws in your arm. I, I mean, when I was growing up, there was, I didn't throw a curveball until I was, what, 14, 15? Right. Now there's a fastball changer, but now they're curveball, they're throwing everything, and it's have, putting a lot of stress on their arm, especially at a young age, how much they're throwing. I personally do not believe that they should be throwing any type of a breaking ball uh, until they're at least 13 or 14 years old, and then it should be monitored very carefully. <laughs> think it's going to be a good a positive change in youth baseball? I think it I think it can be, yeah.